Hi everyone! Like some of you know, I bought a new sewing machine in the beginning of summer. It's fall already, so it's time to give you a review about my sewing machine. Um, it's a Brother, as you can see. Um, I decided to buy a Brother because I like the brand. My mom also has one. I used to sew on it sometimes when I didn't have my own just yet. Even though I wasn't allowed, but I'm pretty sure my mom knew that I would use it once in a while and she didn't mind that much. Um, so, let's have a look. Mine is the Brother Innovis Prime 100 edition. Um, I'm not sure why, why it's called a Prime edition, because there is no non-Prime edition, so no idea why. Um, but still, it's a good sewing machine. It's really dummy proof, which is also very important. As you can see, there are like numbers and all kinds of like arrows where you have to put your thread. Also, all the icons here, everything is really, really clear and simple. I really like that. Um, also, you never have to pull your thread through your needle again. That's really good because you can put your thread here, just push the button. And the thread will be feeded automatically, which is really really nice. Um, you can also cho choose how fast you sew with this button, and you can also choose to either sew automatically with this button or just use your pedal thingy like this. You can choose. I use this most of the time. I don't like sewing with the button that much, I don't know why. Just a preference. Um, you can also clip your thread automatically, which is also really, really nice. Um, if you push the buttons here, then it's automatically. If you push them here, it's actually like manual. You say like, I want to clip it now. Then you do it. And if you do this, it's just when you stop sewing, then it will clip your thread. And there's also the automatic backstage, which, which is really nice. And there are also a few things I don't like that much about the sewing machine. It's when you put it on, your needle won't be in the middle, it will be on the right. So that's pretty stupid, I don't know why they would do that. So every time you have to push this button so it's in the middle, or at least I always sew with um, the needle in the middle. So I don't know, I just think it's kind of weird. Okay, it's true, it's not that much of a fuss to push it every time, but then again, sometimes when you go and just, when you went to the toilet or just want to have something, grab something to eat or something like that, then you come back, put it back on, and then your, thread, um, your needle isn't in the middle, you start sewing and you have to unpick it, which is not that nice. Um, also, if you want to sew with a twin needle, you need two bobbins, so most of the time there's like a stick you can pull out somewhere in a sewing machine to put your second bobbin. This doesn't have that. You have to buy a pin to put on top of this. Yeah, and I just think it's stupid that it's not automatically just like part of the kit you buy with your sewing machine. Um, I did found a trick, so you don't have to use it anymore, but that's for later. Um, I also think it's pretty stupid that there isn't an invisible zipper foot together with the kit that comes with your sewing machine. Just because so many people use invisible zippers. When I check out sewing blogs, I think more people actually use invisible zippers than the regular zipper. So that's why I'm just thinking like not only for this sewing machine, but in general it should be like more something standard. So. That were the things that I didn't like. I also forgot to mention one thing that I do like. Um, when you put a small bobbin on top of here and you thread it, you have to push it like this. And by doing that, you will block the needle here. So I just think that that's really good. Because during summer, when I was giving sewing classes to children, those sewing machines didn't have that. So while you were threading it, this was still going. And that was pretty dangerous and also you had, didn't have like any option to, to block it unless if you unplugged your sewing machine. But if you just need to thread your needle very quickly, I never unplug my sewing machine for that. So, And that was also what happened. Somebody's thread broke, I was re-threading it. The child who was sitting on the chair wanted to get up by accident, put on the pedal and almost my finger underneath the needle. So I was really scared. And because if you have like an option to block the needle, I will always do it. I just won't 
pull it out of the plug so and I don't get it like if you are threading this you will never be stitching at the same time or at least I wouldn't so I don't think that that's like a very relevant feature. There are lots of different stitches I don't have any alphabets or no numbers no like um, no like special stitches to make it look very pretty I don't have those I'm not sure if I'm happy that I didn't bought the sewing machine with that or that I'm sad because um, this one cost 650 euros so the other one with all the extra stitches was even more expensive um, but I do miss an alphabet sometimes because when there are children born I really like to make something for them and then just put like a little note in there or if I make something for my niece or my nephew I really like to write something in there with the sewing machine so I can't do that now but on the other hand it was more expensive so I don't know um, yeah, it's good enough for now anyway. So that was about it. In general I really really like the sewing machine. There are some stuff that I don't like that much but then again I just think with every sewing machine there will be things that you like and don't like so I'm really pleased with mine. I'll see you next time. Bye!